spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Yes, the one and only Pacho Biggs, straight out of Chicago, is digging into Squid Game and why it is worth a gazillion, gazillion views. Check out this ATC exclusive. If you mess with the one and only Squid Game, or you like, yo, I don't got time for, for Netflix and chill right now, fam. Joe, I love Squid Games, bro. I'm not even going. Yo, tell me about it, man. Let's talk. Let's talk. <laughs> See, I watched that show a million times. Look, the first time, the very first time I watched it, the first episode, yep. it was boring. You know what I'm saying? I fell asleep on it. And then I woke up, and then it was on the red light, green yeah. light thing. <laughs> and then I seen somebody get shot, and then that's when I jumped up. I was like, oh, shoot, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> So I low key had to, I had to rewind it so I could, so yeah. I could catch up. But I'm like, oh, so they all, they crazy, bro. Like, man. Mm. And Yo. then, um, I just, I just recently seen the last episode where, um, he was supposed to get on the plane and go see his daughter, but yep. then he went back to go play the game. I was like, you tripping? Psst, crazy with all that money too, right? With all that money. All oh, the money. Yes, this is a big spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, right? Spoiler alert. But nonetheless, I guess you didn't say who who had the money. But yo, um, nah, that was crazy. And you know what's so dope about it too, though, Poncho. I don't know if you caught it, but like I know Soldier Boy, he put out like his own. Soldier's doing everything that he can, man, to stay trendy. Then you got little baby doing like like the little sketch out part, man. I was just kind of curious about um any any uh personal impact. On your life, man, uh, just like like yo, a fan of, of Korean dope films and shows now, or was it just like yo, uh, I don't know, man. Any any crazy impact on you, man, after watching that series? Um, man, uh, shoot, I was just looking like, dang, bro, like when it's when it's time for that survival, you know? For sure, <laughs> <laughs> they got to do the survival and especially get that money, but uh. Nah, though, I was just looking at it like, dang, I'd love to make a little show like this. Uh, uh, have some like, in the community, you feel me? Instead of guns, we have water guns or uh, water balloons or something like that. You feel me? Exactly. No, nah, no, nah, exactly, man. And, yo, I got to ask you, because you know what? It's funny, because I actually watched it with the captions on, man. Um, and, and straight Korean, but yo, a lot of my friends were like, yo, yo, I watch the English dub, I'm like, not your fam, that's not even, yo, because you know when they do the English dub, it's real, like, like kind of Pokemon style, I'm like, nah, yo, you gotta watch the real Korean speaking, and then read the captions, it makes the show way darker. Yeah, no, for real, that's what I did. Ex I, um, I watched it with the Korean voice, and then I put the subtitles on. Exactly, yo, I don't think I've ever read a show as that much ever in my life, man, yo, like, from start to finish. Man, I swear to God, bro. <laughs> It's like I'm trying to watch the show, watch what they saying, watch the show. It's it's like oof, it's like you get on the edge of your seat. Yo, Poncho. <laughs> Crazy. A few more things I want to throw at you, man, Um, in the vein of the whole Squid Game, man. I want to know, being out there in Chicago, man, for anybody that, that's a first-timer, yo, give us one or two spots that you got to go to. Don't worry about the vegan people. We're not worried about vegan people right now. We're talking about people who just want a good meal. I know Harold's has always been, like, you go to Chicago, got to go to Harold's. But give us um, a, a couple spots that, that any first-timer's got to go to, man. Uh, I'll give y'all a couple. So I like, like I say, Harold's. Um, it's this one, it's this one spot I go to, it's called Goose Island. They got the best seafood, like frog legs, jumbo shrimp. Okay. Um, um go to little seafood boils, hit up a little chicken spots in the hood or something. And then there's some spots downtown you can go to. Uh, it's, I can't think of it right now off the top of my head, mm -hmm. but it's like, you go there, you eat, you play games, you drink. It's pretty cool. It's low key too. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, I knew this wasn't going to overtime. And then pretty much as we wrap things up, Pancho, um, you know, I'm excited, man, to, to not only get you on ATC Attack the Culture, um, but more than that is really to be able to keep more tabs on you, man. Of course, you 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 piqued the interest by teasing about the back into it music video, man. But just kind of as we get closer to the holidays, as we get closer to 2022, man, kind of your what is the state of mind, man? Kind of you know, is it music making? Is it being more on the social media front? Is it collaborations? Kind of like, what is the state of mind as we try to kind of wrap things up in 2021 for you? Man, bro, uh, really, bro, to really end the year strong. Like, because I started out strong, so mm -hmm. I'm going to end it strong. So I'm going to do collabs. I'm going to drop music, be on Instagram more. You know what I'm saying? Because they be, my team be on me about being on Instagram. So got to hop on Instagram, engage. Um, just work, build a brand up. You know what I'm saying? So by the end of the year, 
why you know that should be all lot different and there you have it yes a slight spoiler to say the least but poncho keeping it 100 on why squid game is one of those shows you must watch on netflix make sure as always to subscribe turn on your notifications hit the like button have some fun be on the lookout for more videos like this one on atc